Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geek and Noise, and today I want to talk to you about how useful cloud backup is. Now there are plenty of different services, there are things like Carbonite, CrashPlan, Backblaze, to name just a few. There are numerous services you can use to actually back up your data. But I want to talk to you about how useful it is, what sort of data you should be backing up, and also whether or not it works well when you need to restore your data back to your new computer or new hard drive. So let's talk about what sort of data you should be backing up first of all. Now I'm going to use myself as an example. When I'm backing up to the cloud, do I back up my operating system? Well, I use a Mac, so that's Mac OS X, but it's perfectly the same with Windows. Would I back up Windows or Mac OS X to the cloud? Well, no, I wouldn't because if my computer went wrong, I would never ever restore from the cloud to my new computer the operating system. I would use the original source for the operating system. So for me, it would be the Mac App Store. If you're on Windows, you might have a disk with Win the latest version of Windows on or a thumb drive to restore your new computer or a new hard drive in your existing computer. So never ever back up to the cloud your operating system. All you're doing is wasting space and bandwidth. No need at all to do something like that. Now, would I back up applications? And I'm talking things like, for, for myself, Final Cut Pro, Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Premiere, and all those other little applications I've got installed on my Mac. Well, again, there is absolutely no need to. You could, if you really wanted to, but more often than not, when you restore applications to a new computer, unless it's via a direct sort of clone, you will have some sort of issues. I would much rather install them as a fresh installation. So I wouldn't back them up to the cloud. If I was restoring a computer after a hard drive crash, for example, I would install the operating system again, install my applications either from the original CDs, DVDs, flash drives, or if they've been purchased on an app store, I'd restore them from the app store. And then I'd be sitting in front of a fresh computer that I would want to get my data back to. Now that is what I would back up to the cloud. I would back up my data to the cloud but would i back up all of my data to the cloud well let me give you my case scenario again i create a lot of videos and a lot of video footage a lot of raw video footage uh, a lot of photos um, and a lot of working files as well i would not back up all of my raw data footage because i've got that on my uh, memory cards that i've recorded them to and I never erase a memory card until I've actually uploaded my video to YouTube. So why waste space uploading all of that data when it's probably going to be uploaded to YouTube, hopefully before a hard drive goes wrong. So I wouldn't back up stuff like that. What I would back up are source files that I don't want to recreate. So for me, that's things like my intro files, graphics that I use every day. And on a personal basis, things like personal photos, uh, personal documents, letters I've typed, templates I've created, and things like that that I don't want to spend the time recreating. So for a general person, and I say general person, I mean somebody who's just using their computer to maybe store their photos, the odd family movie, listen to music, then I'd back up all of that sort of file to the cloud, definitely, because that forms part of your digital memories. So it's very important that if your computer goes wrong, it's stored somewhere up in the cloud so that you can actually get it back down to your computer. Now, if something goes wrong with your computer, how are you gonna get back on there? Well, you could either sit for days and days, if you've got lots of files, waiting for things to download from the cloud back to your computer so that it's all back to how it was before things went wrong, but that can take a long time if you've got a lot of data. Now, some of these backup services offer you a facility where they can put all of your backed up data onto a USB thumb drive or a little mini hard drive, and they can actually send it to you. That is a really good service. Now, a lot of them are based in America, so if you're in the UK using these services, I'm not sure whether they would ship it over to you in the UK. They may well do, but it's probably gonna cost you extra shipping. And you normally pay something like sort of $50 or $99 to get all of your files put onto this external device and then shipped to you. 
very very good service because then in a couple of days you've got every single file you've backed up to the cloud and you can just pop that thumb drive in or the hard drive and drag all of your files back across your system and they're all restored in place if you haven't got access to that delivery service then yes you are going to have to rely on your internet connection to download all of those files to your computer but if you leave it running overnight after a few days you'll probably have everything back in place so are cloud services useful for backing up your files? Yes, they are. Find a reliable company. I would go for something with unlimited data for myself because I've got a lot of data that I wanna back up and choose a plan that you can afford to keep going because don't forget, if you ever stopped paying for the plan, then all of those backups after a little while become inaccessible. So you wanna get something that's affordable and a lot of these plans are either $5 or five pounds a month so call it 60 pounds a year to have the peace of mind that you've got a backup of all of your files in the cloud and i think that is great value for money so that's it for this video i hope you've enjoyed it please do hit like please do subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one